So I've messed with an alto guitar before on several projects. A guitar I tuned one fourth higher by adding a high A on top, dropping the low E and tuning the B up to a C to retain that one major third interval. Nothing too complex involved, just restringing with an easy to get .007 string. I called it an alto guitar since shifting everything down a fourth or fifth gives you a baritone, so then going up should give you an alto. And what about even higher than that? A soprano? Had me thinking how high can we actually go? Can we hit that C8 of a piano? This is Kevin from Said Too Much. So the first thought is to keep going up a fourth to a D5 from an A4. And whipping out my super secret guitar string calculator, I found there was almost no way to get that high, even with the shorter 23 inch scale length. Okay, so what about down to maybe like a familiar C5? That would put us at a .0055 to just hit breaking tension. Is that even possible? Searching the internet, the answer is yes, kind of. There is one company, Octa4 Plus, that makes custom strings as low as 0 0.062 and even 0 0.059 for crazy scale length instruments. Great, but to order those strings, first you have to contact them. And contact them I did with my idea for a D5 soprano guitar. Engaging in a pretty cool conversation, they told me about a 0.3 string they once made for an extremely weird scale instrument. But they also brought up one important factor I hadn't even considered yet. Such a small mass of metal wiggling in front of the pickup means a very faint signal. They also elaborated that there's a very specific installation process you have to go through, slowly tightening the strings over hours to get a completely uniform constant tension. I had always been gentle handling the A4, but this seems to be an entirely new level for gauges below that .007. Even when I explained I'm using a shorter scale guitar, they still suggested a lower tuning or even shorter scale. I have never had a company try to talk me out of a sale so consistently before, though I was thankful for their advice. So all of this led me back to the good old high carbon Diodario strings I've used before. Although the calculator still insists it's crossing breaking tension, I once tuned one of these guys past what it told me it could handle on my 27 inch scale length 8 string. A moral of the story here is you hit a bit of a tensile and signal strength wall when tuning up. Unlike down tuning where you can always go just thicker and thicker. Ultimately, you have to start lowering scale length to lower the tension, which is kind of just like adding more frets. <laughs> So this leads us to my crazy idea of simply making a pick guard with an extended fretboard on it. It would push the neck pickup totally out of the way and almost touch the bridge pickup. I hardly ever use the neck pickup anyway, so I figure it won't be too inconvenient. I know for lead tones you want a really warm sound, and going this high, this instrument probably needs it. But I figure that's what the tone knob is for. Just roll off some of the top end. I mean, I know most of us ignore this thing, but it needs more credit. So I went to Blender to design a new travel size pick guard. I can make a cleaner humbucker cutout too from the previous mod I made. We won't need that pickup selector switch and an extra volume knob anymore either. I made the extended fretboard a separate piece in case my dimensions were off, or would need to replace the softer PLA plastic if it got worn down. Printing went fine, only maybe 6 hours total. Quite a large print on the pick guard portion actually. It almost didn't fit on the printing bed. I tried to keep the frets as similar as possible to the metal ones. I planned on having the 22nd fret spilling onto the wood as it would need to, but that ended up being more awkward than worth having. So I ended up tearing it off in the end. I went through several print fails for the fretboard piece. Getting the dimension right between where the metal frets stop and the plastic ones begin proved to be harder than I thought. The PLA plastic might reduce the sustain as opposed to metal frets, and having all these layers, even as fine as I could get them, means that bends feel like moving up and down a staircase. But I'm pretty satisfied with how it's come out. We go well past the 24th fret, and even past the 3rd octave 36th fret for a total of 39 frets. I can tune as low as my original 25 and a half inch scale length alto at A standard and still be able to hit that C8 at the highest fret. Hopefully we can tune higher though. Taking advice from Octave 4 Plus's website, there are a few precautions you can take to ensure the endurance of a super thin string. 
First, I replaced the tuners, although beautiful for this super cheap guitar, with some hipshot staggered locking tuners that also allow me to get rid of these string trees. The lower holes on the treble tuners ensures an angle at the nut that will allow for a good tension without them. You see, the name of the game here is to eliminate as many contact points as you can with the string. These are the points at which the strings usually break. I thought maybe I could eliminate another contact point by drilling a spot on the top of the bridge to go directly to the saddle, but it looks like at its lowest point I still run into the saddle underside. So through the tremolo it is, giving me four contact points. Two at the bridge, one at the nut, and one at the tuner. As just an extra precaution, I added some felt along the sharp edge of the hole coming out at the tremolo bridge. Now one last time, I'm stringing the super high string with the Diodario High Carbon .007 string. And here's the rest of the gauges I chose. Now to tune it up. So what do you think? Is it worth losing an extra pickup? Should we just stick to a wah pedal to get notes really high up? This project is actually what I had in mind when I first bought this extremely cheap shorter scale travel guitar. Of course, I first started with putting super thick strings on it. To match a drop A baritone, I have also modded to compare their tones. Having had to file out a little extra room on that nut, I was worried I'd have to do some more nut filling in. But really, I feel like they're firmly in there as it is. That downward tension in that relative groove space is enough. I'm really beginning to question a lot of my guitar build assumptions. I like how this high fret instrument looks like a lap steel guitar. And if scraping the plastic fretboard ever got annoying for aggressive playing, it worked out super beneficial that you can always just pop it in and out. Let me know of your own ideas I could try from here. 
there's so many tangents I can think of. For now, though, enough said. For downloads, raw instrument tracks, and more exclusives, find our community on Patreon and consider adding your support. Said too much. 